This video provides instructions for completing and submitting this year's 2022-2023 Free Application for Federal Student Aid, or more commonly called the FAFSA. The FAFSA form is required by all colleges and universities for students applying for need-based financial aid. Remember, need-based financial aid also includes loans from the federal government, so you must submit a FAFSA form to be eligible for government loans such as a parent loan for undergraduate students or a PLUS loan. These complete instructions can be downloaded in PDF format from a link in the description of this video. The PDF document gives step-by-step -step instructions and advice along with links to important websites that allow you to register and complete the FAFSA form. Documents and information you should gather to prepare for completing the FAFSA include the following. Student's Social Security number, both parents' Social Security numbers, the student's driver's license number, if he or she has one, copies of 2020 federal tax return for the student if the student filed 2020 federal tax returns, and 2020 federal tax returns for both parents if the parents are married or remarried, including W-2 information. You should also have records of both student and parents' untaxed income, such as child support and interest income. Also, information on both student and parents' cash, savings and checking account balances, investments including stocks and bonds and real estate, but not including the home in which you live, and business assets. There are three important guidelines to remember when completing and submitting the FAFSA form. First, submit the online FAFSA early. This year's FAFSA became available on October 1st, 2021, and the deadline for submitting the FAFSA for many colleges and universities is in February or in the first days of March 2022. However, financial aid is awarded from pools of money that may dry up. So, if you submit your FAFSA form before your college's or university's deadline, but it is late in the application period, the need-based aid may already be awarded to other students and there may be nothing left for you. So apply early, ideally before November 1st. Second, when estimating your financial assets, estimate low to maximize the student's financial aid eligibility. The value of your financial assets entered on the FAFSA should be as of the day the online FAFSA is submitted. So any adjustments you make regarding student or parent financial assets prior to the day the online FAFSA form is submitted are acceptable. The entry of your 2020 income number should be done using the IRS data retrieval tool. This includes both parents' income, if the parents are married, and students' income, if the student filed federal tax returns in 2020. The IRS data retrieval tool is an electronic link in the online FAFSA form that connects parents' and students' 2020 federal tax returns to the FAFSA and will auto-populate the FAFSA with the same income numbers you used on your 2020 federal tax returns. Instructions for using the IRS data retrieval tool are included in step number 13 on the attached FAFSA instructions. To further assist you, I have attached a link to a PDF of an example of a student aid report for a fictitious student in the description of this video. See the attached FAFSA student aid report example fall 2021 in the description of this video. The student aid report is the document you will receive after completing the FAFSA that shows all of your entered information and your calculated expected family contribution. 